Hey guys, Dave here with another video showing the, uh, in inverted commas, usefulness of a new property that I've added into Sprite. Um, I'm just going to start by inserting a Sprite and using one of these images. Now normally if we wanted to put more of these uh, images into our game, we'd have to create another Sprite, load up another graphic, and so on and so forth. Uh, this new feature allows us to simply import in all the graphics into one object like so and then if we duplicate it and change the start frame, this is a new property I've added to number 2, it changes the actual frame that it uses one thing we have to remember is to set the animation speed to zero, otherwise when we run this like the animation will play and that kind of defeats the purpose. And uh yeah, so you can, you know, rotate these around and start modeling out your level. This one a bit bigger. Make these ones a bit darker. So yeah, you know, it's, it's not brilliant, but um, just add some grass on by making this the fourth frame. And of course, uh, you can actually see what numbers correspond by the animation bar on the right. So, so that can be rather handy, but you know, most of the time you're just dragging and dropping stuff, so you could keep like all your objects up here. And uh, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Of course, if you forgot to change the animation speed to zero, then when you run it, this happens. <laughs> just kind of random. So uh, yeah, that that might be a feature that people find handy. I just figured I'd let you all know.